Hello, amigos. Welcome back to another episode of Los Artilleros. Um, so yeah, what a rubbish game that was. Um, American won, GMS nil. Um, pretty dire game, to be honest. Both teams looked average. Um, I mean, going into the game, I was really excited, to be honest. Um, obviously, Classico, the excitement level was heightened anyway, but um, I was really excited because America haven't been that great. Um, and we've had a couple of wins under our belt, I figured, you know, it'd be a really even game. And to be fair, it was an even game, but um, the first 15 minutes, it was just super quick. It was end to end. The players, all the players looked well up for it. Um, the first 15 minutes was great, it was like a really entertaining watch. And then it kind of just fizzled out. And then, you know, obviously Gio Dos Santos, of all people, you know, I think it's the first game, first goal he scored in about 17 years, but to be fair, it was a quality goal. Um, it was the only quality thing that happened all game, to be honest. Um, people criticising Gudino for it, I don't think, I don't think Tony would have saved it, I don't think, I think nine times out of ten, no goalkeeper saved that, I mean, it was just a quality shot. Uh, we gave him too much space, he took a long range, uh, you know, shot at it, and you know, it went in. Um, but after that, nothing really happened. Obviously, uh, the Cordova header that um, went in, but obviously was disallowed. Uh, I think rightfully so. I mean, I, I would because I'm, I'm biased, but I think genuinely, genuinely, I think it was an, uh, you know, a foul leading up to it. So, um, it would have been a good goal though, to be fair, if it had stood, if it had stood but, you know, uh, it's just, this game was just, really, really bad. I mean, America seemed to kind of sit back a bit after they scored. Um, Chivas had no attacking play at all. At all. There was no, there's nothing going forward. I mean, Macias was pretty non-existent this whole game. Uh, he missed one shot that he really should have put in the back of the net. Um, and, you know, misses like that are a bit worrying. Um, I really, really I was praying for him to score in this game because it was just giving him a boost. It would have given everyone else in the club a boost. It, you know, it's just he was non-existent. Vega tried a couple of times to knock the ball in. There was nothing really going on in the box. Um, Antuna as well. Antuna is very good at getting the ball when he pass defenders, but it's when he shoots or when he crosses that he just messes it up. Um, so if he could just work on his head product, he'd be way better player than he is. But um, yeah, it was just a dire game. It was pretty boring, to be honest. Uh, we played really badly. America didn't play well at all. I mean, a lot of the American fans are going to celebrate. And rightfully so. I mean, they won the game. They got three points. But you know, they played terribly. And they had one good moment of the game, which was the goal. Other than that, they weren't that great at all. To be honest, if Chivas um, clicked better offensively, I think we would have scored a couple of goals against them. But unfortunately, well, fortunately for America, Chivas don't really know how to attack at the moment. Um, yeah, some American fans are just going on about how they're better. You know, they're just overdoing it, in my opinion. I think they should have sit back and realise that they actually play pretty badly. Uh, it was just two bad teams playing against each other. One just had one moment of brilliance, and that was it. That was all that separated the two teams. Um, Tom Marshall tweeted out about uh, there being still being a gap between America and Chivas, and while I agree, um, I don't think that gap's massive now at the moment. Um, if Chivas were just a little bit better, then I think there's there's not really much of a gap at all. It's just Chivas for some reason. Just, they're not clicking offensively. Um, it's, it's strange. I don't know whether it's because they brought a load of players in and it's always difficult when you get a lot of players to kind of gel into a unit. That might be it. I don't know what it is. We just don't seem to have any attack and play whatsoever. Um, and I don't think the gap's big either. Um, going back to Tomas' tweet. Um, I, I mean, on paper, I think America has a slightly better squad, sure, but... Chivas' squad on paper is pretty good. There's only a couple of spots that I would change, probably the goalkeeper position, um, maybe the centre-back position, I'll top up and, and I 
I'd get maybe one or two more wingers in. Eric Aguirre, for example. But, you know, I don't think it's massive. I think America's really taken a downturn um, over the last year or so. I don't know quite what's happened with them. Um, but yeah, I don't think the gap's massive at all, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, it's another debate. Um, so, overall, pretty disappointing game. Um, disappointing result. Um, and to top it off, obviously, the whole video of Uribe Peralta going viral, celebrating, well, not celebrating, but swapping shirts with, you know, American players, along with Antuna. Um, that went viral. Um, my opinion on it, don't really like to see it. I mean, the shirt swapping, you know, that happens after every game, it's, and then even in the conversation, like, they're talking, like, fair enough, they're all Mexican players, they're all in and around, um, well, used to be all in the round, in Peralta's case, in the round, the Mexican national team, so they know each other off the field, especially Peralta with his teammates, but it, for me, the only annoying thing was just the fact that they looked quite happy, they looked quite cool, you know, they looked like they just bumped into a load of mates at a pub, you know, hey, how are you, oh, good, thanks, you know, I, I would have expected them to be really, really annoyed with themselves, and annoyed at the result, and grumpy, and, uh, sulky and stuff. I wouldn't expect them to be smiling and clapping people on the back and you know having a nice little chat. Um, so that's the only thing that annoyed me about it. Really, that's the only thing I've got to say on that. I mean, it is what it is. Players know each other off the field. Players like swapping shirts, and especially ex-players from their team. Um, it's just they looked a little bit too happy in my opinion, whereas we're all gutted and disappointed and angry. They just seem to be smiling and pretty chill with it. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it is what it is. It, you know, things like that happen, and there's nothing we can really do about it. It's, it's just, it went viral. And I think rightly so. Um, but, you know, they've, they've come out, Parts came out and explained himself, and, you know, I'm over it now. It's just at the time, I was like, really? Like, why am I really disappointed and you're happy having a chat but anyway um we move on uh we've got obviously got our game coming out very soon I'll, I'll do a review on that as well when it happens um hopefully we can get another win and bounce back um hopefully we've learned a lot from this game and so they start training offensive techniques because there's just no offensive threat at all from Chivas at the moment um just it's just not clicking like I said so yeah, that's my rant over it. Um, you know, give me a, give this channel a like and uh, subscribe if you can. Um, it's much appreciated. Comment in the below if you you're happy with the result. Are you an American Eastern? You thought you played really well, or are you an American Eastern that thought that you didn't play that well? And, um, you just barely deserved the win. Um, Chivas fans, let me know what you think of the game. What do you think of the Peralta incident? Um, do you think we can kick on and get a win in the next game or not? Uh, yeah, it's all appreciated. I reply to all the comments. So, um, yeah, keep them coming. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Adios.